Beige mousse, beige mousse, beige mousse, beige mousse, beige mousse, beige mousse, beige 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 mousse. Welcome back. I've started. Uh, I made friends with my uh, my booger. He decided to move in with me. You are gross. I think I remember to. What the fuck? I think I remembered a little bit more about that thing I did in Mario 3 that one time. The, uh, the one in one six with the floating platform. Yeah. I was talking about. Okay, so I had Raccoon Tail. Right. And there's that one up down flying Koopa guy. So on the way up, I spun into him. And then I fell down faster than him and bopped down on the shell. Or like I, I hit him in some way and then I bounced on him. And then I ended up on the other, like, jump. And then ended up on this side of him and moved into his shell when we were both on the way back down and kicked it back behind me. It was ridiculous. It all happened so fast. There's no way to do that on purpose. So, of course, when we start playing Mario 3. <laughs> Speaking of doing things on purpose, I shot... Very nice. I was hoping to spin through their asses. Not shot, but I threw a dart through another dart recently. Oh, shit. Yeah. And I've done it several times, and, like, doing archery and stuff, I haven't done it with, uh, I've hit other arrows, like, I have hit my own arrows, but I have not split one yet, but there was, I think it was, uh, the Mythbuster gentleman, uh, that said that it cannot be done, uh, even with, like, it can be done accidentally, of course, uh, but they said that you cannot be accurate enough and hit the right spot. And it's it's bull. I've seen it. I've seen people do it on purpose. It's pretty awesome. Now, the, the ease of doing it with, like, a combination bow versus doing it with... Compound bow? Or, yeah, what a, did I say combination bow? Yeah. God damn it. I'm just... Like a lock. I'm, bra I'm brain dead today. I can't. Uh, we'll just beep that out. A beep bow. Uh, <laughs> a compound bow. I have one, and I can't even tell you what it is, apparently. Uh, versus a uh, longbow. I don't know what the difficulty level difference is, but... I know that I've seen people do it with uh, compound bows. And it's pretty awesome. Fascinating. Tell me more. I will, because I find it fascinating. Oh, it is. I'm just not going to have much to say for a second as I try and hunt this level for enough oh, power-ups yeah, no. to... Uh... I, can take the, uh, I can take this time to talk to our beautiful, uh, fun-loving... Viewer? Viewer. Maybe My fiancé is probably our viewer. We, we might be up to two. My fiancé and your girlfriend? I don't know that she would watch this. Really? Yeah, she might. I mean, she's definitely into stuff like this, but... Like, I let her watch, uh, Game Grumps. You her. let her? I... you know what I mean. <laughs> Jeez. Mr. Uh, Equal Rights over here. She and I watched Game Grumps together. And, uh... Oh, this is like the... wait. Oh, I'm confused. No, this is the alternate. Yeah, but an alternate exit that just has that instead of a key, and it's not a ghost house. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good point, but it's a cave. Yeah, but still. I mean, think about the one where you go up the three blocks, and it's got the vine up, and you still do a key. Oh great, my friend that I uh, used to uh, work construction with just uh, shot me a message and told me to text him, so he might be... Asking for me to do uh, more construction work. Oh, cool. So I will get to that in a moment. In the meantime... So here we go! In the meantime, I remembered that I forgot to uh, start the timer again. Oops. Oops. Levels are finally getting a little harder. I was on a roll there. A game theory. I don't know. I'm using the back road to get to you. 
Yeah, I was gonna... This is actually the way that I normally go first. But this time I decided to uh, leave it. Leave it! Can I get a moonwalk? What? Can I get a moonwalk? From me? Yeah. Well. How's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I was uh, singing a Michael Jackson ballad. The key to what are you doing in that pipe? No. So now are those bob bombs or? I think they're a kind of bob -omb. Like, Goombas look very different in this game from pretty much any other incarnation. The Goombas from fucking the Super Mario Bros. movie were hilarious. Because in the game, Goombas are small bodies, big heads. In the movie, yeah. the Goombas they, were... They, yeah, they called them Goombas, but they were sort of more like Koopa Troopas because they were reptilian. Yes. Just weird. Was that Yui Bowl? Because if it was Yui Bowl, that's just one more reason. Fuck that guy. Who did the movie? Yeah. I'm looking it up. There we go. Get out of there. Oh, god damn it. I forget which movie it was. It was like Halo or one of the others that's in the works. Um where Yui Bowl asked the uh, the game manufacturer, the, the publisher involved, said, hey, I want to I wanna direct a movie for you. And they're like, we don't really have plans to do a movie right now, um, but if we did, we would not want you to direct it. Specifically you. What else did he do? I'm trying to pull him up now, but he does not have a good track record. Damn it, Internet. He did In the Name of the King, based on Dungeon Siege. It was a postal movie? Jesus. There, there was? Yeah. Uh, he did Blood Rain. Alone in the Dark. House of the Dead. Mm. Blood Rain 2, In the Name of the King 2. He did a Far Cry movie? Blubberella. In the Name of the King 3. Alone in the dark. Ah! Oh, I was floating. I was on cloud nine, man. Oops. And then I died. Looks like he may not have been responsible for Mario. Alright, I guess it's my turn to beat a level. Wow, 16% on Rotten Tomatoes. I thought, you know, to me, I, I get... A lot of the reasons why movies that get low ratings on Rotten Tomatoes get the low ratings, but I just like I feel like they they should be a little bit more. Okay. Do you remember you playing this level for about a week and a half? Yes. I also didn't have Yoshi in the game, so. Yeah, rub it in. I don't need no fucking stars because I got four lives. It's Bitch. tomorrow Monday. Uh huh. Am I doing anything tomorrow? Oh. My friend, uh, my friend recently had a uh, some run-ins with the law uh, because we were at a metal concert and. Uh, <laughs> and a girl hey, standing behind her uh, decided to uh, get a little too close. And then uh, when she got kicked, or she accidentally <laughs> got hit in the face, that's what it was. Oops. It was very complicated, confusing, and terrible. Um, 
just my my friend, uh, she accidentally elbowed the girl behind her at a metal show. As happens. In the front, in the pit. And, uh... I'm sorry, you're in the pit, you wave your rights. Yep, I completely... Aside from, agree. like, deliberate shit, you know? Mm -hmm. No, and this, you know, that is, that's right. Those are the rules of the pit. Um, and, uh, so this girl gets really upset and calls the police a week later to file a complaint. Okay? And, uh, my friend, who I will not name, got a letter in the mail saying there was a warrant out for her arrest. Well, shit. So she had to turn herself in and stay in jail all day and then pay $400 to get out. Bail? Yup. For, for that. For accidentally. And it wasn't even like she was being crazy and elbowed the girl. It was literally an accident. So it wasn't even her like throwing her arm around. So that's the crazy part. It was legitimately and wholly an accident. The girl didn't have a mark on her. And so, you know, she gets out and everything, and now I have to go in as a witness and say, hey, yeah, no, this is stupid. Uh, this was an accident. She got arrested for this. And that was that. So if you're anybody, and you go to a metal, punk, whatever show, unless you're at a fucking... Coldplay concert or Dave Matthews concert, which I hope that you're not. If you're a fan, that's great. You know, cool. That you know, the, the, you just not, won't catch him. That's yeah, no, not gonna happen. Um, I can respect them. I will not listen to them. So anyhow, if you're at one of those shows and something like that happens, oh shit, the resonors. It's getting a little heated here. No! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Man. Fuck! That was rough. Anyhow, if you're even at one of those shows and someone accidentally hits you for any reason, if it's an accident, it's an accident. And if you're gonna be stupid and call the cops, just go ahead and jump in a fire. Wow. Yep. Strong views. Very. It's just. <laughs> uh, that's none of my damn business. You what? do. That's none of my damn business. People. Are they not vaccinated? Yep. Not my kids. But it does affect your kids. Uh, yes, it does. But I don't have kids. Uh, and so. It affects your. I. I personally, uh, believe, you know, if we're gonna be on that that uh, though vaccinations may have side effects in some children, uh, yeah, I mean, they were- It's a very small number, and they, it's not autism. Now, at the same time, I'm also of the belief that we have too many people on this earth, and there's a reason <laughs> that there are diseases to kill people. There is a reason that control. there are people dumb enough to not get their own children vaccinated, but their stupidity is causing the deaths of people who otherwise did all of the things they should have done. Correct. The only mistake they made was not being aware of the fact that they let their kids be around somebody who was not vaccinated. Yeah, well, it's natural population control. You know, and though, no, I'm not saying that everybody should just start dying. I'm saying that I understand the biological and ecological reasons behind things like that. Yes, but with modern technology and the idea of all the shit we're going to be able to accomplish with medicine, science, space exploration, we no longer, in a lot of ways, need to worry about population control. Obviously, while we're still earthbound here, there's a certain limit. Yes. And we're coming up to it. I want to say the highest they figure Earth can possibly support is around 11 billion. Um, and that's if we maintain something like our current way. Yeah. If we went, you know, a whole lot more vegan and, and less land use for all this stuff, then we can vegan. go we can go a lot more people than that. Gross. I mean, you know, not that you're gross if you're vegan. Well, I mean, honestly, though, I just... what about, how do you feel about uh, lab-grown meat? 
You know, uh, it, it's not... Do you mean like... Do you mean like, uh... What is it called? Essentially, it's farmed that way. Like, it's... Yeah, we're talking about um, a meat, a, a piece of, like, an organ or whatever. A muscle tissue grown, synthesized in a lab. You get a, a starting point, and with proper care, get it to grow into a whole muscle. You electric shock it into certain activity every so often. All right, gotta survive this next shot. No! Die, bitch. Okay. Uh, Trent Reznor. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is that. Yep. Well, he got it from this. What? I'm pretty sure. Check it out. Is my mind about to be blown? Maybe. Michael Trent Reznor. Born. <laughs> Michael Trent Reznor. So then look up the things in this game and see if they were oh, named. Oh, I'm sure it'll be easier to find on this. I hope my mind is about to be blown. I'm going to pause this for a second. Hello, guys. How are y'all doing? Maybe we'll edit this out. You yeah. feeling okay? So, uh... You know, get a little bit more personal. Um, David and I both uh, enjoy doing this because it really uh, it helps us chill out. We both have problems. Well, I have problems with anxiety and depression. Uh, I have some stuff in that ballpark. Yeah, David David has his own thing going on. And uh, I'm dead. Um, Oops. So this is, you know, beyond, you know, if, you know, if anyone watching is, uh, you know, watching just to be able to zone out you know it's it, it's good for that and uh this is this is our way of oh shit half dealing with it half you know giving us something to do when we're not working or doing things that we need to do essentially uh but i've always found oh, shit that, why did i fuck right, that was a good jump well i've learned i found that you know watching youtube channels and let's plays always really uh you know all the guys out there that i watch are very funny and uh you know it's just a good way to zone out similar to how bowser's kids the koopalings are named after various musicians resners are named after trent resner of the industrial rock band nine inch nails well but that's just a theory <laughs> a we can't theory. we can't keep stealing that. as much fun as it is it's not stealing it's parody which is fair use. No! Oh! <laughs> Dude. You have bad aim, but this is working out for you. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 Wiki do surprise no! face. I love it. <sighs> My heart rate is up so much right now. And not anxiety. Oh, that's right, it caused me to yawn. Oh my gosh. Shit haps. Word to the app. Word to your mother. You haven't met my mother. I have not. I have not met Miss Randy. I hope to, uh, someday. Shit. She's such a sweet lady. Well, at my wedding, presumably. Well, of course. That would be a lot harder if it weren't for those blondes. Clearly manageable, though I wouldn't have had that balance if you weren't there in the first place. Oh! <laughs> oh! Did you see that quad up? That sounds gross. Nah. I'm not going for that fucking coin. <laughs> it's like, do you dare? Yo, oh, well. Apparently I could've. Fuck it. Getting that shit. <laughs> oh god damn it. Those fucking Ugh. I have the feeling that some of those little razor dudes are coming out soon, the chainsaw guys. Maybe that's Butterbridge too. Yeah, I don't think they're in this one. 
Oh, speed up, huh? Fucker. <laughs> I love it. Not 30 coins. Damn it. So how do those work? That's, that's if you've uh, collected... I, I know the first one in 1-2 is 30 coins, but if there's some set number of coins you have to get in the level before hitting it, and if you've gotten that number, then it gives you a 1-up mushroom. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try and play the same level again. Oh, yeah. Next time. Next time I will play this again. Alright, we'll just stop Wee! it right here, then. Wee! Wee!